we the new team. Yeah, I don't get it, do ya? New squad, new year, but the same me go. Yep. New ring, new bling, check Stilo. Yep. And they want to see the show like a movie. All right, it's 4.54. It's got to be on the Mighty 1090. We are on the campus of San Diego State tonight. They open the season against UC Riverside. And former star player and now assistant coach, Tim Shelton. Is this your tune? Um, I think so. That Turn it up. Pretty good. Turn it know. up. So so mean, no fans, so clean. Sounds like, like me. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Little bit. When is this one? I don't remember. This one is uh, Aztec Motto. This is one of the. Uh, this is the second song actually. Game Time Ready was the first song. Um, Aztec Motto is the one that we made a nice music video for the first time, and then it, you know people got excited about that one. Are you still doing music or no? No, no more music. You for gave me. up music? Uh, hey, I, I'll give music up for basketball. Really? Yeah. We were yeah. thinking you could mentor some of these new basketball players yeah. and kind of get them started that, that way. Was, that was my right? idea, too, a little bit. When I had <laughs> a little down. bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, so now that you're an assistant basketball coach, are you a guy that is, like, passionately pursuing the day when you'll become a coach, a head coach, have your own team, do things your way? I mean, are you into it that much? Are you like, that's what I want to be now? I think that originally that was like the idea and then once i sat in my first coaches meeting um this year and we really went over the details of the season before our first practice i was like oh man i want to learn as much as i can because if i go straight to the idea of wanting to move up the ladder uh, you know i just want to make sure that i'm prepared for each and every game each and every day just to contribute help out and learn as much as i can because the staff we put together here is phenomenal and i think i'm in a really good position just to just to learn and grow here so what exactly is Tim Shelton coaching now? Um, my title is actually Director of Player Development, um, which is almost a fancy way of saying film responsibility and scouting, um, which is a really nice position for me. I watch a lot of film. Um, I'm cutting our scouts and getting into detail for what the opponents run, um, as well as cutting what we do and helping our guys develop and get better that way. So that's kind of the, the primary job description for me. Wow, so you're you're in charge of, of getting the video packages for the coaches to show the players and Wow, all the different aspects of the uh, opposition. Yes, sir. Wow, fantastic. Tim Shelton was a star player here at San Diego State when they made their run towards the Sweet 16 and uh, now is working with the coaching staff. You tell me, who are the guys, as fans are coming in tonight, that uh, if you haven't been to any of the preseason action, who are the guys that – Coach Fisher gave us three freshmen yesterday to look out for, plus there's a transfer who's a senior, plus you know, there's, there's just a lot of guys. He said 11 guys are going to play. I, I, if you came to the San Marcos game um, and you got to see everybody pretty much in action um, and you got excited about it, I know personally just seeing the growth um, in our practices and with our freshman, Dakari Allen, obviously Matt Shrigley, and D.R.L. Williams, those guys are making really, really nice leaps of improvement. And it's exciting to see them get better and better. And it's nice to be able to play, you know, a different team again today. But um, those guys specifically, I really like what I've seen, um, especially out of, of D.R.L. lately as a point guard and just him coming in. Um, getting his ankle healthy and really getting going. He's really getting comfortable in the last couple of weeks' of practice. Good thing you're here because I, I wanted to ask somebody how to pronounce Parker's last game uh, name. I mean, oh, you 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 you. That's it. I mean, just just like it's spelled. You you. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. You see that? You see this? Let me see. It's you apostrophe you. Mm-hmm. What's his story? I guess so. What's that? What's that guy's deal? Um, Parker is one of our transfers um, who's sitting out this year. Um, I'm familiar with his last name because I had a uh, brother, Titus Shelton, who played at Cal Poly, and his brother plays there right now. And so um, he's one of their star guards. He's pretty good. So Parker, um, hardworking guy, can really shoot it, um, really bright, high basketball IQ player. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to you know, to see him in, seeing him in action next year. But this year he's been really contributing to practice. All right, Tim Shelton here on Scott BR on the Mighty 1090. Um, just tell everybody, because I always think that when there's a kid from here, you kind of you sort of root for that guy. And, uh, and San Diego State's done a good job of – getting local recruits, right. and, and even when guys want to transfer, they, they do seem to want to come home. But give us something on Matt Shrigley we don't know that much about from La Costa Canyon. Matt um, actually had an opportunity to be one of the guys who got minutes last year um, but made the decision to redshirt. Um, it was kind of one of those decisions where I was like, hey, he could play 20 minutes here or he could play four minutes here, 14 minutes here. And so he decided to make the decision, um, sat down with the coaches and was like, you know, I want to. we got a lot of guys obviously at my position who are – experienced and very skilled and looking to lead the team. He sat out. Um, he was one of our toughest guys um, in terms of scout team, making our guys get better every day. And, um, you know, this year he came back much improved. Um, one of those guys out here who you knew for his scoring ability can really shoot the ball well, really good, 
leader of vocal skills is going to be exciting to watch. Well, wow, but, but, but yet he makes that decision to redshirt. And, I mean, I guess some people would say, wow, I, I want, why would you give up the chance to play? But I, I guess you guys understood and, and you right. know, totally right. welcomed him as a, as a redshirt. Okay. Wow. That's something. Well, I, I, I can't imagine being in college and, and playing football and, and saying, realizing that, that there was a redshirt or you could play. I mean, that's a that's a really tough choice to but, make. But play four minutes. Right. Or yeah, take yeah. a year, get better, practice, build your body, yeah. and still have four years of eligibility. Right. right. That's the way I would do it, too. Mm-hmm. Coach, it is good to visit with you. Glad to be here. And uh, <laughs> we will look forward to seeing you uh, as the season goes on. Tim Shelton was one of our favorite players. Yep. And now uh, one of our favorite coaches. Still our favorite rapper. Oh, thank you guys. No, oh, that's I, I know that. So I still say second behind MC Hammer, but that's just me. <laughs> that's just my opinion. You know, take it for what it's worth. That being said, I think I have to do one more. I, I don't know. 